Hey guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to copy a custom shape from one robot to another. So let's say you have this robot which has the custom shapes that you want and you want to copy one of the custom shapes into this robot. So first, I need you to go ahead and open a search engine, Google or Bing, and find Visual Studio Code. I need you to download this and install this. Once you've installed that, go ahead and open the Visual Studio Code and then open this, uh, click this button, the extension bar. Type in Miniscript up here and then install Miniscript VS. Once you've installed that, I need to enable it. Now, I need you to prepare the robot files that you'll be using for this uh, copy process. One is your target robot and one is your source robot for the custom shapes. Drag and drop both of them into Visual Studio Code, just like so. One on the left and one on the right. Now, next, uh, I need you to click down here. It's, it's called Select Language and then type in Miniscript. And do it for both. Right. So here you can see that both of them are now indented properly. So also additionally, if you make any mistake or anything, it will tell you that there's something wrong. So you can see a whole line of red there. So if all's good, then it should be clear, just like so. Right, so let's say we want, um, we want custom shape number, this one, the brown one. The brown one is 01. So it's called perform quad size 2. So let's go and into this file, the archive loop file. Look for that shape name in particular. So it's called perform quad size 2. Now we found it here. Make sure that you find the pattern of name just like so. It has string ID, it has the custom shape here, custom shape again followed by it and then followed by the name and the in-game name here. Now that you found that, I need you to next type in on the search bar custom shape. There. So we wanted a frown quad size 2, right? So pay attention to this uh, indentation in particular. It is the blue color here. Click just behind the indentation. And then I need you to look at the right side here and then go to the next uh, bottom highlighted part. So click here and then look at the next part and click here. Now you can see that there's another highlighted blue indentation here. This time, shift click behind the comma. Don't highlight the comma but behind it. Now you got that highlighted, copy. You can control C or just right click and copy. Great, you're doing great so far. Now go back to the target robot, the robot that you want to copy the shape from and uh, copy the shape into which is called Go Eater, my robot here. We're going all the way to down there so open the search bar and type in construction right it's over here to make it easier you can just highlight it here so we make sure you don't lose it now pay attention to this part I want you to add a comma here and then press enter once you've done that paste all your codes here there you go now you got all that codes in and then you see no errors, everything's good, everything's clean, you can press save. <laughs> oh wait, not yet. You can save, yes, but you also need to fix one part. So go ahead and type in the name of the custom shape that you've copied, which was perform quad size 2. Now the string ID is called custom shape 3 but number three is already occupied by another robot another custom shape part so the game doesn't like that you have to change this number to another unoccupied number let's say 
a random outrageous number perhaps perhaps like 69 or 420 or your mom that doesn't work don't do it so let's say 69 that's a nice number once you got that number in press save and then this should override your, your robot yes it overrides your bot there's no backup so make sure you when you do this you have a backup of your robot so in case anything breaks you can just revert it back right once you've done that go ahead and check your robot in game go open your workshop go open your robot uh oh there's something wrong so it seems like there is something wrong Perhaps number 69 was already occupied. So what do we do? Change it to another number. We put 420 this time. So we'll go back up and then save the file. And then go to workshop. And now it works. So if it doesn't work, then your numbers just whack. Change it to another number. So go into the game, check if your custom shape is here. And you can see that it's here. You got the perform quart size too, working just fine, and yeah, it works. You can even edit it. So just to make sure everything's good, there you have it. All done. Congratulations. You have copied one port file to another. Thanks for watching.